Israelis and the Palestinians can talk to. <laughs> if you want to join the discussion, the number at the bottom of your screen is 617-244-3344. Let's switch Currys for one second. I know all the callers want to talk about John Curry. Let's talk about Curry Healy. I have thought from day one the single most powerful Full argument that she has used almost not at all. Mitt, when he did his drive-by last week, mentioned it in passing, is... Every congressman, Democrat. Every senator, Democrat. 89% of the legislature. Every constitutional officer. Don't you want one itty-bitty Republican? Right. One, do you think it's as strong as I do? And why hasn't she mentioned this virtually at all in this campaign? Because of Duvall. He's just too strong, Jim. That's what I think it comes down what to. What is that? I think she gives up? She doesn't even try? I, I think it's tough. It, it doesn't seem to be resonating. Immigration well, is not resonate resonating. Ben Laguerre did not... Mr. Thoughtful and Eloquent, he's not resonating. Nothing seems to stick. Yeah, but can I is, say, even people like me think that Ben Laguerre was a totally appropriate topic. Both Deval Patrick's behavior in writing letters for him, giving the 5000 bucks, communicating with him, and clearly his mishandling of it when it arose in this campaign. The issue is how to present it. And I, I, haven't, I don't know what your opinion is, uh, so that's why I'm asking. The commercials were an outrage. And I, if, even if they weren't an outrage... They were so counterproductive. Who was running the who was running the campaign? I disagree. I thought the you parking thought were, garage commercial was brilliant. Well, obviously it I sunk it her whole right, campaign. Right, allegedly, supposedly, a lot of people well, what struck not? a note. She dropped like a rock as soon as she's running these things. Just the element that I think he was too strong. The movement is too strong. The element of change is too strong. But I've read the Ben Laguerre stuff. He is thoughtful. He is eloquent. John Kerry is no Ben Laguerre by any stretch. How did you work that into the conversation? <laughs> I knew he would. Six one seven two four four thirty three forty four. What happens to the Republican Party, such as? it is. 13% of the, I think it's 13% of registered voters. Actually, the largest party, in quotes, is unenrolled, bigger than the Democrats. If Curry Healy loses this election, this is a serious question. Yep. What do they do? Shut up and then, I mean, shut down the House and then start something new? But you admit, this is going to be interesting to see how Duvall, who's never held elected office, everyone, the, everyone's you know lining up around the block, some of the old Dukakis people come in. I think it's going to be entertaining and interesting to see what it's going to be like. And what do you think it's going to be like? I think he can't afford everything, so then you start to disappoint some people. Uh, this is going to be completely different. The legislature, they will, they're going to turn on him. You can't trust those guys. I think Duvall, who's the nicest guy, if he doesn't have a bad cop, this thing could go downhill pretty fast. But, but there are bright spots. Carrie Healy, I don't think she's going to be done, even though a three-time loser. I like her. I think she's right in a lot of issues. Maybe she hasn't run the best campaign. Mitt, Jim, has not helped her in any way. Well, I, I think you were saying otherwise. I see, I think not only has he not helped her in this campaign, I have to say, I've asked her this question, as you may have as well. He's treated her like a second-class citizen. Yeah. I mean, you weren't here. You were in Rhode Island for the Weld Salucci era, yes. where they were essentially co-governors. And even yep. if you don't, Weld Ducci was the line. Even if you're not equals as well, really treated Salucci. It literally, she was always a few feet behind. The infamous photographs yep. from walking to the big dig where she's literally helping him on with his orange jacket. He couldn't even give her a speaking part at one press conference. Right. It's almost like he wanted her to lose. Do you buy that, by the way? Uh, I do buy into that argument, but I but don't he get wants that her at all. He, he, it's not good for him, and his people say it won't be good if, in fact, that she wins. Well, he's got. But I, wait, I also wins. don't get if she wins and becomes the governor. I don't get the whole Jeb Bush thing. Why would Jeb Bush be on a second ticket to Mitt Romney? This is a Herald story. If you didn't see it the other day, a lot of the, some of the staff from Jeb Bush is moving over to Romney, and the implication, I think it was a Kim Atkins wrote, yes. I'm not sure, was that essentially Romney's trying to set up a Romney Jeb Bush. That doesn't pass the last I don't get that at all, Jim. But I, I don't think he has helped her. I think she's in a tough bind. The Christy My House thing threw her off. Duvall, nothing Wait, the really poll shows, to excuse him. me, the polls show that more of my host's voters, if he dropped out, would go to Deval Patrick than Curry Healy. I don't believe that. And Duvall's the one that wants him in the debate. What are you going to say? So, the only poll that matters is the one on election no, day? No, I'm not going to use that old line, but I, I still believe Christie was a Republican. I think a lot of people that like change, are, I don't believe the element they're, they're Duvall. So he can't be ahead by 50 points. I think they would have gone for her. It would have created the one-on-one -on -one dynamic that she never got. I, I think this was a very difficult campaign, and you can't combat every type of campaign problem that this has presented itself. And, and worst of all, it has not been as entertaining as I had hoped it was going to be. He's John DePietro. Time for another break. We're taking your calls. 617 2